There seems to be a lot of confusion about the next upcoming cinematic storyline quest, whatever you want to call it, for Warframe. The Winter... Winter? I don't know why I said that. Winter 2023. See? Saved it. Whispers in the Walls update. Everything says Winter 2023. I kind of saw an image with it, but I can't find it. Hopefully I can find it and put it, you know, here. But... It's kind of been mentioned, but not mentioned, and a lot of people did miss this. This is the beginning of a new narrative arc for Warframe that brings, obviously, some amazing looking cinematic quests. This is quest one. Everything up until this point has basically been leading up to the new war. Starting with the second dream, the war within. And it kind of concluded there, but it also didn't at the same time because there's been a few updates since. Uh, Whispers in the Walls, even though it kind of continues with the ongoing storyline, is a new narrative arc that will explain a lot of questions players have had about the game's origin. Which will obviously lead us into the next quest, so we've literally got an update on what the next quest's going to be, and the one after it. Warframe 1999, where Master Entrati, Albrecht on Entrati, uh, whichever Entrati it actually is, because there's been speculation about that as well, meets Hayden Tenno from, yeah, Dark Sectors. And for those that don't know, Dark Sectors is basically when they went to pitch Warframe to people, it was one of those, oh well, it would be good if it was like this instead kind of games, and that's where Dark Sectors came around, hence Hayden Tenno. And you are a Tenno in Warframe. Warframe is what they wanted to make, Dark Sectors is what they made instead. It was kind of a compromise. And also Warframe's origin story all mixed into one, because after making that, they decided they're going, they're going to make Warframe anyway. They bet everything they had on Warframe. They just put it all out there and went, well, if this fails, Digital Extremes as a company will kind of cease to exist. And this gamble paid off for them quite nicely. To be fair, out of a lot of the games they've done since Warframe, there's been but a handful that have actually been, well, are still around. Anybody played Survive By recently? Oh, I missed that game. But back to what I was talking about earlier, Whispers in the Walls will basically answer a lot of questions about, you know, who the man in the wall is. Hopefully this is something they can answer, even though we already know it's Albrecht and Trotty's doppelganger. Not our doppelganger, like everybody keeps guessing because of the evil smile. No, Albrecht and Trotty went into the abyss, the void, where he met his doppelganger and... As he was coming through a portal, his daughters closed the portal behind him and the finger was cut off. The man in the wall is missing his finger. So we know who it is because that literally tells us that, you know, Albrecht's doppelganger had his finger cut off, man in the wall missing finger, it's Albrecht and Trotty's doppelganger that is the man in the wall. Spoilers? But not really, because that's... The man in the wall is something a lot of people kind of know exists already anyway. We kind of introduced to that whole thing long ago. And as forementioned earlier when I did that whole video on him that a few people corrected me on. That is fine. Yes, there is the giant... I really don't want to call the Entrati that we kind of possibly will be taking control of in the Whispers in the Walls update. Kind of doubt it because that person, that head that we embodied is kind of missing a few key features like, oh, I don't know, the rest of the body. And part of that body you kind of see during the cinematic the quest line that they show you. So I'm a bit dubious as to what can actually be happening in that quest, but it's more the narrative of the game's origin. It is a new narrative arc for Warframe that brings new cinematic answers to questions players have been asking for many years. Like, will they ever introduce Hayden, Hayden Tenno? More importantly, we know that this is Albrecht and Trotty in the video because that, um, 
his feline companion, that Kavat, was gifted to him. And therefore, this is Albrecht and Trotty. Because a few people have tried to correct me on that one, and no, if you look at the history of Warframe that's mentioned, Albrecht and Trotty was gifted this Kavat, and it's always with him, and ah, it's literally in the opening cinematic and the outro, outro cinematic for Warframe 1999. Warframe 1999 is going to be a alternate dimension theory because Albrecht and Trotty was doing research into alternate realities and where they can come in useful. The Orokin gave up on this research because it didn't get very far. Obviously, Albrecht and Trotty did not. Which is also kind of weird because if Albrecht and Trotty was around at the beginning of the Orokin era, and the Orokin era has been over for thousands of years, where's Albrecht and Trotty been? And this is a question I'm seeing a lot as well. Yes, new narrative arc for Warframe, answering a lot of questions. Main one being, you literally watch Albrecht and Trotty get put into the same kind of, let's call it a stasis chamber, that we are in when we are awoken at the beginning of Warframe. To be fair, you kind of have to go Vol's prize for that one, for it to make any kind of sense instead of the Daviri Paradox side of things, but yeah. In Vol's prize, we are, actually it's not even that. I'm completely off on my quest here. It's the second dream where we are awoken. And it's that that he is inside of. He is classified as the sleeper throughout the beginning of this quest. Do we ever actually get told who it is un up until the whole Warframe 1999 thing? I don't think we do. Yes, I'm looking forward to the new narrative arc for Warframe. It looks like it's going to be very interesting to see where they try and take the storyline of Warframe and lots of other things. It doesn't fix the major problem with Warframe at the moment. Despite all of these videos appearing that say, have they finally fixed this and finally fixed that? No, Warframe's biggest problem at the moment is still Let's not sugarcoat this uh, lack of anything since June, shall we? Still, their lack of actual things to do in the, gr in the game. They bring... This is two new updates. One will be the end of the year, 2023. The other will probably be the end of the year, 2024. If they release on time. So this doesn't fix anything with the major problem in Warframe the lack of things to do in the game. It was built on constant things to do in the game. It has lacked that for quite some time now. Even when they do actually do things that kind of solve this problem, they keep going back to missing three or four months. But with that, we'll leave this off here. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.